Hello YouTube and Facebook. Welcome to another video with me, John. Today I'm going to be doing another one of my series of ramen reviews. As you can see, I have a nice hot bowl of ramen sitting in front of me. So what type of ramen will we will we re be will we will we be reviewing today? That's right. Anyway, today we are going to be reviewing this ramen. In case you can't read Korean, it does have it in English somewhere. Right there, actually. This is called Yule Ramen. And Yule, I think that I'm saying that right, Yule, is Korean for heat. And as you can see on the front, it has two giant red peppers. And it says, Hot Taste. So, Yule Ramen... And I believe the uh, the brand is this name right here, Atagi Atoji, O T T O G I. Not sure if I'm saying that right, but that's my best guess. Anyway, how I prepared this was 500 milliliters of boiling water. Added the pack of noodles, and then it had a vegetable packet and a spicy powder packet. Mixed it all up, cooked it for three, uh, four minutes. And then it says, for improved taste, please add kimchi, green onions, red peppers, egg, etc. Well, I added an egg because I had some eggs. I didn't have any green onion, so I added a uh, white onion. And I didn't add any red pepper because I wanted to make sure I tasted how hot it was without anything that's extra hot added to it. I don't have any kimchi and I added some cilantro to it just to give it some greenness. I included that in the etc portion. So here's what it looks like. You can see it's a nice reddish orange color. This does include the soup in this one. You don't drain the, the liquid out. I'm going to give this a little mix. I'm going to break that egg yolk. You can see. I'm going to try to lift it up with my spoon. There's that nice egg yolk. Just kind of mix it up in there. That just kind of makes the, the soup thicker, I think. Let me break that yolk and mix it in. Just let the heat of the water cook it. Alright. Let's first of all just try a little bit of the broth by itself. Mmm. It's tasty. Definitely got some kick to it. I believe the flavor is like a spicy beef flavor. I'm gonna see if it has beef in here. Salt, red pepper, sugar, glucose, soy sauce, garlic, yeast, beef extract powder. Yep. And then also clam, mushroom, bonito seasoning. What is bonito seasoning? Like a fish, paprika, ginger. I skipped over all the words that are just preservatives. The vegetables in this are uh, green onion, red pepper, carrot, mushroom, and Chinese cabbage. So the uh, the the vegetables that were dried in the packet seem to be in a nice mix. Now let's go ahead and try some of these noodles. And soaking up in all this flavor. As you can see, the noodles are pretty thick in this one. We got a nice chew to them. They really hold on to that sauce really nicely, too. It 
really nice spice and uh, beefy flavor. The noodles really pop out in this one to me. They have like a, a thicky, chewy texture and mouthfeel to them that uh, I think is kind of unique to them. I don't know if like how these were made, if they're extruded through a, a machine or something. I'm going to try to get one of these out and get a close up of it. So if you look at this one, I don't know if the camera can pick it up that well. But like they have like a little edge to them that I think might have was created there during the manufacturing process. Can you see it? Let me know if you can see it. It's almost like a little lip or an edge to them. It kind of like makes me think like it was just some machine that it went through and the machine kind of was like two pieces that went down together that might have had like a seam where they met each other and that's where that little bump comes from. Let me take a few more bites of this. This one's definitely in the spicy category. When you compare it to some of the other, like, challenge spicy ones, this one probably is not going to make, like, a top ten list. But it does have a nice, good kick to it. Um, one thing about it is that it, uh, that the spice doesn't linger in your mouth a long time. Like some of the other, like, thicker sauce ones. So it's not something that's going to like ruin your mouth for an extended period of time. Not even for a short period of time. Like the, the the sting of the heat is really not that bad at all. I do like this ramen. It tastes really good. It's got a really nice spicy beef flavor to it. If you want it more spicy, you can always add more red pepper. It says in there that that's one of the things they suggest actually for additional improved taste to add more red pepper. But this is pretty good, and I'm going to give this Yule Ramen from Atogi, I'm going to give it a nice 8.8 .8 out of 10. Good flavor. It's got uh, fish, clam, beef, and a whole bunch of other stuff in there. But all together, they make a good tasting ramen. And I do suggest if you ever find this, Give it a try. I think you'll like it, just like I did. Well, guys, until next time, hope you enjoyed this video. And I hope you are all enjoying yourselves every day. Bye.